how to play Call of Duty Mobile in your PC and what is the best emulator for Call of Duty Mobile. First go to gameloop.fun so gameloop.fun scroll down and find Call of Duty Mobile this one and click download you will be downloading 10 MB emulator installer so your PC will think it is harmful just like this one but you just keep it it's safe because this one is the official uh, emulator for this game install it and let it download so after downloading it once it's finished let's open game loop it will look like this so um, the emulator will auto download everything you need and if you are playing in Southeast Asia you just change server and to Southeast Asia because if you are if you are in Southeast Asia and you click the international it will say that it is not available in your region so if you don't if you don't pick the right server you won't be able to play without VPN and each server has different files so you will need to download again if you download the wrong one so let's check because I'm in Southeast Asia then we will play So you don't need So you don't need to set up hotkeys because the emulator has a preloaded hotkeys for the game so it's very convenient. Again, you don't need to set up hotkeys because the emulator has preloaded hotkeys for the game. Before starting, we need to adjust the settings of the emulator to our liking. First is the hotkeys. If you are playing in 1080p, 1080p resolution, the hotkeys you know you don't need to adjust it. So here is the default controller setup. You can also use your use your game controllers. In this game so see that game map and this one is for the keyboard so everything is set up for the for the hotkeys let's go to the graphics and uh, so go to the settings here and click on the engine so the engine so I want 1080p 1080p resolution for the game so this one I will I will pick the custom this one these three dots then I will just put it here 1080p because you you will have a custom 720p ah, you will have a default default 720p in in the resolution then I will also use Direct X Plus for the for the game and prioritize dedicated GPU for added power, added performance. But um, if you but if you are playing on a low end, oh actually wait, you can actually play here. Uh, you can actually play in ultra wide setup. We will just change the resolution here. For example, it's 3440p. 
to 144TP, something like that. I will show you later a gameplay in ultra ultra wide. Then, if you are playing in a low end setup, just use DirectX and uncheck the prior prioritize GPU for less consumption. Then switch to 7 720p resolution. This one. So for me, I will just use this one. Then for the game, okay, you go to the game. Then if you are in 1080p gaming, check the this one. If you are not, then do this one SD. Okay. Then inside the game, there is a settings. So. <laughs> This one, the audio and graphics, so you can actually lower the graphics here or make it higher. So for me, I'll make it high and the frame rate will be in max and the, it is re really realistic. Then this one, the sensitivity is, I think this one is exclusive for the mobile. Ah, no, not the mobile, in the emulator the emulator so because we will use the mouse yep. so you need to adjust that to your liking so the default one is okay for me let's start Okay, so again, you want, you just click the multiplayer. So I got a pre-recorded um, multiplayer. So I will just use that clip to put it here, then the ultra wide one. Another info is that you can only battle with emulator users also. I don't know if mobile phone players can play with emulator users, so don't feel bad if you give everyone a beating. And I will also include the ultra wide resolution gameplay clip in the end of the video.
Headshot! Changing back! Changing back! Cover 